You know what time it is. It is time for another. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another wine and design episode. I have been getting so many questions from you guys and I'm so happy because it's giving me so many topic ideas for wine and design and today's topic is going to be something I kind of touched on before but I'm going to specifically show you how I create my portfolio pieces and how I like present my portfolio um, and on top of that I'm going to touch on how to like send your files like logo files to your clients. Um, because there's so many different ways to do that and I'll kind of talk about what I do but yeah before we get started I'm gonna be trying out a wine I've never tried I try and like make these where I'm trying a new one so I kind of give you guys my opinion but I feel like wine is just such a thing where everyone's palettes are so different so you might like something that I don't like or I like something that you don't like so I just thought I would talk to you guys about which ones have been my favorite so far, Mayomi Pinot Noir is by far my favorite. But we are gonna try this one. It's a Zinfandel. And supposedly, after re reading the reviews online, it's fruity, kind of plum-like, which I think is perfect for this kind of time of year. So I'm gonna open it up and pour a glass and we'll get right into it. All right guys, just poured a glass. Let's try it out. That's very, very fruity. Honestly, I think I like more dry wines. Oh, this is pretty good. Not terrible, but not my favorite. It's got a weird kind of aftertaste, but it's definitely fruity. If you want something real like fruity and kind of tart, you would love this, but not bad. So let's hop into my screen and I will show you guys how um, just other ways you can present your files, but also how to create your portfolio. Also, this is the second time I've cut my finger when opening up a wine bottle. I don't know what's wrong with me, but, um, I think it's the foil on the thing when I, like, peel it. It, like, is so sharp, so be careful. Alright, guys, so, when presenting your portfolio, I always have it online on my website, and... I think that if you are a designer, you should definitely either create yourself a website or find someone to help you create it. Um, but it's always cool if you create it yourself because you can be like, I made this website, this is something I can do for you. Um, but this is my website and I always link it down below in my videos, but I made this using Divi and WordPress. And when you go to my work, you will see all of my portfolio pieces. Not all of them. I'm really bad at updating my portfolio just because I get a lot of my um, requests off of Instagram. Like, I get a lot of messages and clients on there. And then um, usually word of mouth spreads through Instagram and social media. So I'm terrible at updating this. I'll show you guys an example of how I like present it. This one's my favorite right here, how I laid it out. But, um... I basically give a little blurb about the brand and I show like the mood board, kind of the creative process behind it. Um, and these are actually files that this is from my Instagram. These are files. Woo! Really? Sorry, it's smelling really good. Some of my best work. These are files that I have sent my clients and I just put it on here because it's honestly just showing the work I do. Um, and then some mock-up I use, which I'm going to show you guys in a second. So, yeah, that is kind of just what my portfolio looks like. I am actually going to be making a video of me showing how I do, like, actual print pieces in my portfolio and how to present that and everything, because it's pretty cool, but I get clients sending me, like, their physical products, like their business cards or their stickers and... I do want to lay it out in a nice portfolio book, but a lot of things are digital nowadays, so I wouldn't really worry about getting it all printed unless you're like physically going to interviews, then definitely that's great to have, um, but you can always do it digital. I think mock-ups are beautiful. 
that um, make mock-ups. So Creative Market, as you guys know, I already go here for my fonts and some other random things, but they have so many, like, I know I only talk about fonts on here, but they have so many different options. Like, they have photos, graphics, all that kind of stuff, but they do have mock-ups and some really cool ones. So I'll show you guys a little bit. Uh, what I'm talking about, I'm just gonna type it in. But in my opinion, if you are presenting, even if you're just sending them your logo concepts, it is so helpful putting it into a mock-up because a lot of these people don't have the eye that you have. So if you put it into a mock-up form, then they'll be able to see it in a different way and they most likely won't have that many revisions. So that happened to me recently, actually. I sent over logos on a PDF but at the end of the PDF, I had um, the logo on a t-shirt, so I mocked it up So, because I know they're going to be using their logos on shirts. So it really helped, and I honestly don't think there's that many edits. Um, they sent me one edit today, so mock-ups save you time, and it helps the client kind of see what you're visualizing. So as you can see here, there's lots of different mock-ups. You can put it on boxes, you can put it on stickers. Um, Honestly, I would find out where the client's using their logo and then use it in that form. Like if they're going to print it, you do a cool frame, that kind of stuff. Um, my favorite brand of mock-ups or company that sells mock-ups is Moyo Studio. And I found them on Instagram a long time ago and I realized they sell like all of their packages on Creative Market. And they do have a lot of really good sales, so I definitely keep an eye out for them. Um, but yeah, they have beautiful, minimal, beige style mock-ups, totally my, my vibe, and I just think it's beautiful looking. So let's look at this one, for example, you get, you can like put your website on this phone here, like logo on the iPad, whatever you want. Um, along with, um, Creative Market, there's also the website called Freepick. And I use this one a lot because I actually pay for it, um, but it's really cool. You can type in like mock-up and you can put your logo on like a building, on a sign. They have so many options. Um, honestly, I usually use free pick for creative market. I was going to show you guys which one I purchased. Um, mock-up wise, and I purchased quite a few. They even have like some cool branding um what do you call it mood boards um but i purchased this one from moyo studio because i do have a lot of logos and i wanted like business cards and all that kind of stuff so i'm gonna download it and show you guys kind of what it looks like but um mock-ups are not just for like instagram like like i said before you can send these when you're sending your initial concepts to your clients just so they can see it in a different form So I like to find the mock-ups where you can change the background color just because if I am gonna, it's kind of like I'm getting two done in one. I can post this on my Instagram and I can send it to the client. So it comes in PSD format. So PSD is Photoshop if you don't know that, but definitely if you don't have Photoshop, I would definitely recommend getting it because that's how you have, that's how you create most of these mock-ups. I gotta get talk. Um, so I definitely recommend investing in Photoshop. I for a long time only had the photography Creative Cloud suite, but now I have the entire Creative Cloud, and I'm so happy I do because I use a lot of the apps. Um, but yeah, Photoshop definitely would want to have that for this. So this is what it looks like when you open it. Um, you'll see that they have a bunch of different scenes. So they have like, um, let's minimize that one. They have that kind of scene. They have that. They have a lot of different ones. So investing in one of these is smart because then you have like all these different kind of layouts that you can choose from. So for example, let's just use this one. So this is card number one. You just double click that. So I'm gonna do that again real quick. This little box thing right here, you just double click that. And now 
you can change your color tint, all that kind of stuff. So they have a lot of really cool options on here. I'm going to use the example of, um, you guys have already seen that logo. I'm going to use a logo you guys have not seen. I will do the Evolve. We're gonna just use one I made last night. This is kind of a silly logo, but uh, dang it, I don't even have that one on here. I save a lot of my stuff on my desktop and not right here. Okay, let's see if this one. All right, let's use this one. Okay, so make sure it's PNG because if there's a background on it, you will see that on the mock-up. So this is PNG, and now it looks like it's already placed perfectly. So literally all you have to do is exit out, hit save, boom, it's on there. And it looks really cool. It just brings a whole different mood to the logo that you're creating. So let's see if it does it for each one. Yeah, so now it's on every single one of these scenes. Um, and it's so cool. I like love mocking things up, it just like, it also helps you visually picture what your logo is going to look like on things and then possibly change things if they're needed. Yeah, that's how I do mockups. Um, and then in terms of sending your files to your client, I have played around with the app Envision. Um, and I actually really do want to kind of look into this. I'm really trying to get my workflow down in terms of like sending my work, um, keeping it organized. And I think that Envision would actually help with organization as well. Um, so, because then you can just kind of keep your portfolio pieces on Envision as well as sending them to the client. So I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like, but if you haven't heard of this, it's pretty cool. You can like, I'm gonna sign in and show you guys what I've done on it. I only have the free version, so I can only make a specific amount of boards, but I'll show you guys a few of the boards I have made. So it's really cool because you can send them a link and then they can just like scroll through and see like, oh, that's my mood board, that's my color palette. I like the way she's going. <laughs> and then um, this one, for example, has all of the things on there. So it has the mood board, the, oh, this is the mood board. That was the branding guide. And then this one I actually included like a little info about the brand, um, their keywords, the logo files, font files, editable logo files, marketing collateral. So everything's on here and the coolest part about it is you could click on this and then download it. So Envision is really, really nice for presenting your work. And this is something I wanna continue doing in, into next year. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little bit, not lazy, but I got a little bit unorganized this past year just because I said yes so much and I didn't really think about how I was sending my work as much as I probably should because um, I always want it to look professional and high quality, but I honestly just send in PDF format with like a letterhead, so I'll show you guys kind of what that looks like too. This is how I was doing it for a long time. I was just literally making this kind of letterhead. This one was for an eye care company. And then I just add on those PDF files. But the only thing with that is really make sure you're numbering your pages or numbering your concepts so that it's easy for the client to be like, oh, I like the way concept number three is going. Let's continue with that. Because I have had the issue before where I didn't number and three to them on their computer was like four to me. <laughs> So really make sure you're numbering them and making sure you guys are both on the same page. Yeah, this is how I would do it. I would just do a letterhead. And I still think this is really nice. It's just, this really like has thought behind it when you're sending like an awesome link with everything. And this is a link that they can still reference um, and they can just download everything off of here. So I like Envision. If I had a choice, that would be my choice. But when I'm busy, I just get their letterhead ready and I send it off. So that is what I do. But um, yeah, so I definitely recommend doing mock-ups um, when you're presenting your work as well as, okay, 
so this is what it looked like. Um, I have all those up there, but then right here is where I added the mock-ups where they could see what it would look like on a t-shirt. So that's just an example of like when I send the logos what I do to present that. But yeah, that is my biggest piece of advice. Use mock-ups, do a really nice kind of letterhead if you don't want to pay for Envision. If you do want to play for Envision, then I think that's a beautiful way to send your work. But yeah, that is my advice for today's wine and design. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, I would appreciate it so much if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video.